During World War II, the Nazi regime produced an unthinkable level of evil, perpetrated by a leadership who are infamous even today. Himmler, Goebbels, Goering, and of course, Hitler. After the war was over, some of these high-ranking Nazis were caught and tried. Some committed suicide, while others managed to escape justice. Yet there is one notorious Nazi whose fate remains a mystery to this day, that of Heinrich Müller. Heinrich Müller was chief of the Gestapo, the Nazi secret police. He was also one of the architects of the Holocaust. Some who met him describe him as a rather unassuming man, yet others called him a cold and calculating killer. He orchestrated the Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass, that saw the arrest and incarceration of 30,000 Jews. In 1939, when Hitler was looking for an excuse to invade Poland, Mueller gathered a group of men from a prison camp, promising that they would be pardoned and released. Instead, he had the prisoners murdered, dressed in Polish uniforms, and displayed at a German radio station near the Polish border to construct a story to justify a German invasion. Mueller remained loyal to Germany even during the war's final days as the Soviet army closed in on Berlin. He was last seen in Hitler's bunker on May 1st, 1945, where he was heard to remark, We know the Russian methods exactly. I haven't the faintest intention of being taken prisoner by the Russians. After that, Heinrich Mueller vanished. Rumors swirled after the fall of Berlin regarding the fate of Mueller. Some say he was killed or committed suicide, with one report even claiming that his body was buried in a Jewish cemetery. Others say he escaped Berlin and Germany and found refuge in another country, possibly South America, and lived out the rest of his life. None of these claims have been supported by evidence. The strongest rumors are that Mueller was recruited by either the Americans or Soviets to work for them in secret. Unclassified CIA documents would seem to indicate that the Americans searched for Mueller, but were unable to find him. There does exist some evidence that Mueller was taken by the Soviets to Moscow, but those reports, as with everything else surrounding Mueller's disappearance, remain unconfirmed. So what happened to Heinrich Mueller? How could a man so instrumental in the horrors of World War II simply vanish? The Americans, British, Israelis, and others searched for any sign of him for decades with no success. Mueller was born in 1900, so if he did escape the war, he's dead today. Still, the fate of Heinrich Mueller remains one of the most enduring mysteries of World War II.